this size, Super Tendo Boy. And today I have a bit of a different uh, concept video. Today I'm not going to be demonstrating any cool contraption or uh, redstone machine. Today I'm going to show you a cool little aesthetic thing that I created in vanilla Minecraft. Now, uh, this is actually really easy to create, and a lot of people know how to do this. I just thought of the idea and it looks amazing to me as you can see we have pedestals here in minecraft and you can stick blocks on top and as you can see they're smaller than a full block i honestly just think they look great and the best part is they're really easy to make but of course like most of my contraptions you can't make them in survival you're gonna have to cheat in creative mode so uh... what you're gonna need is um... you're gonna need this command right here and so how these pedestals work is there is a minecart right under here and um, I've talked about this phenomenon in various other videos but in Minecraft some minecarts have little uh, display tile entities like it looks like there's a small minecart in there and of course there's the hopper then the chest and the furnace but what I've done is I've changed that entity to um, the block with an ID of 43 and a data of 8, which looks like a, uh, a full block of smooth half slabs, um, which looks really nice. And then what I can do is I can change the offset that uh, the block is displayed on above the minecart and I can display it just right on the very edge of a block here so it looks like you can place blocks on it and since there's a stone half slab under it you can actually place blocks under it now if you don't really get what I'm talking about that's okay because I'm going to demonstrate this so you're gonna wanna grab this command which um, you can uh, see in the description below and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a half slab or yes preferably a half slab and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a command block two blocks above it put in the command and then got to make sure there is a block that can hold the minecart below it and it needs to be lit under there which is crucial I'll show you what happens if you don't but um happens is you do this and as you can see we got our little pedestal here but as you can see it turns black so what we need to do is we need to light up the minecart because the minecart is actually the entity that is uh, rendering the block here so whatever we do to the minecart such as say we uh, make it fall then the block falls with it or if we rotated it the block would rotate also so you have to make sure you have the minecart in just the right conditions so here you have your pedestal and you can just go ahead and you can place a head on it if you want to like so and another great concept that you can do with these is you can take uh, cobblestone walls or fence posts and then what you can do is you can make yourself a little pillar here. Let's go ahead and spawn in one of these minecarts. There we go. And then we can put it like here. Let's see. There we go. And you have yourself a really nice looking pillar here. Now, as I said earlier, you gotta make sure the minecart is lit for um, the block to be lit, uh, which you can actually tamper with and get some pretty cool effects. But another thing that I want to mention that you guys have probably noticed in the video is that the blocks sometimes disappear. And that's because when I can no longer see the minecart, the minecart doesn't render on my screen, and so therefore the block attached to it doesn't render. So it can look quite glitchy, but in my eyes, I think it's completely worth the aesthetic effect. Uh, it just takes one entity, it doesn't take any redstone. It just takes one command block. It's really good for adventure maps and just uh, if you want to display something. 
So, uh, there you go. You got your nice little pedestal. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching!